What? Why this building? Why did you want to scan from the BT Tower? It's one of London's tallest buildings, 190 meters. The range on the scanner is around 330 meters. We're interested in pushing the technology to the limit, really. Vision is a core element of how we perceive our world. But through technology, we can reveal a perspective beyond what our eyes are capable of, seeing and understanding things in an entirely new way. These new technologies make our own perception open up. It's teaching us to see better. With this level of ultrasound detail, we can actually see abnormalities sooner. We can actually do fetal surgery, where they repair a problem before the baby's even born. When the baby delivers, you can't even see a scar. I'm Cara Santa Maria, a science journalist exploring the technologies of today, tomorrow, and beyond. On this episode of Invention Factory, how will we see the invisible? Expanding our vision means revealing another spectrum of the world. I met with the architects at ScanLab to see how they're using new laser technology to explore in a way no human eye can. Matt, Will? Hey! Hi! Lovely to meet you. You too. How you doing? So we're just going to start setting up. We've got a lovely view here of the tower. Nice. We spend our time digitizing the real world. We use terrestrial LiDAR scanners to document spaces highly accurately in 3D. It could be used working with engineers or an architect. It could be valuable to scientists. We've been to the Arctic to measure the kind of dynamics there. But also, it can be used to explain space, things that you can't normally see, like underground hidden spaces. He's going to start scanning in this direction. Oh. And then the whole body of the instrument is going to kind of slowly, slowly turn around in this direction. So we're only ever scanning a tiny, tiny little slice. It's a very different way of looking at the world, so we see it as this kind of crazy cloud of highly accurate points. You might start to recognize this. This is the That's platform... A, the tower. ...which mm. we were scanning on. And you okay. can see all of us walking around the scanner with these little wisps. Oh, how funny. In amongst that cloud of noise is this. Oh, wow. That's the so whole this, city. This is kind of everything within 500 meters of where we were. We're very conscious that digital models of the world occupy everybody's lives nowadays. At the moment, they're kind of two, two and a half D things, you know, like Street View or maps on your phone. But we're very convinced that this technology is what's going to feed into those maps of the future. What about loads of locations that you may never be able to go to, but we could go there once, and you could visit in an Oculus Rift environment, walking around somewhere. There's these new worlds of vision that come out of the spectrum that we're working on. Improving our vision through innovation has implications far beyond being able to recreate the world around us. Today, technology can even help us see into the future, giving things like our health a whole new dimension. This is what GE is doing with their latest ultrasound technology. What's a 4D ultrasound? A 4D ultrasound is actually a 3D ultrasound, but the fourth dimension is motion. Ultrasound started out as a two-dimensional technique. You saw flat, black and white images. Now we can actually see the baby moving, we see it smiling, all in three dimensions. Nikki, I'm Dr. DeVore, how are you? Good, thank you. Glad to meet you. you. Come on in. We're gonna look at the anatomy of the fetus and we're gonna look at the brain. We'll look at the heart in a way that's never been looked at before. We're gonna be able to look at the blood flow and reconstruct it so it looks like a four-dimensional model. This is a live 40 picture. Let me, let me show you what the baby did. He just frowned. It's really fun to see the baby in 4D. Makes it more real. <laughs> 4D ultrasound really opens up a lot of different avenues. And one of the avenues is fetal surgery. If you correct something early, then it has more time for the anatomy to grow normally and healthy. This is now the flow of blood in the heart. And by knowing what the colors mean, I can determine whether there's a heart problem or not. We've never been able to see this before. This is so new and exciting, it just, uh, it's amazing. 4D ultrasound is getting better and better every day. Do you think that there will be another revolution in the technology? I think that we have no idea where 4D ultrasound can go. 
I can see way out in the future that we almost create a holographic type image, one where the parents can actually see the full fetus. To explore this vision further, I visited holography artist Matthew Schreiber to talk about the possibilities of imaging our world. I work with light and I make holograms and laser installations and sculpture, drawing, painting, photography. I've always been interested in technology and vision. I just wanted to start to understand what my eyes were doing and the physics of seeing. So I made a hologram of this mug from Aleister Crowley's house. So this is like taking the picture? Yeah, exactly. Okay. A hologram records all the data from objects three-dimensionally. Gets lit with laser light. And then that wave front or the interference pattern gets recorded on this glass emulsion plate. And that's what a hologram is. So this, what am I, lo I'm looking at a hologram right now. Yeah. The way a hologram records data has a future that's way beyond than what we're seeing now. In the future, there'll probably be its own medium using technologies like the scan labs to bring in data from every angle around objects. So you can walk around a volumetric kind of display. Today we show our images on an LED screen. Moving into an area like holograms would be the next step. You'd be able to project that image in the air. One thing that I always find amazing is that we discover things now through machines. It's not through our eyes. We end up trusting these machines for our discoveries. And this is just another one of those tools. How does being able to see an ultrasound image change our vision of reality? It's really bringing things and making them more real. As we move forward in the future, I think that reality is just going to get more and more clear. I think that we're teaching our perception to expand. It's getting stronger. Think about what we do as scientists or physicians, and we look into the unseen world, whether it's with ultrasound, or look beneath the Earth, and we look at how the Earth is made, or we look into the heavens and see the stars and the galaxies. We're really discovering the unknown. We're seeing how did this all come together and how does it work?